Hello everybody, it's Rex here, and welcome to part 2 of how to make a homemade Xenomorph Queen out of cardboard. And in this part, we're going to be putting the body together, getting the limbs attached, and getting other parts attached, and then um, in part 3, we'll be painting it. So, um, so I'm going to go over some things, again, you're going to need, you're going to need your glue stick, you're going to need some tiny scissors, possibly, you know, that be needed for tiny cuts. You'll need big scissors, and you're going to need some extra white cardboard. That's your, well, it isn't white, it's just covered in paper. And let's see what, ah, dropped it. You're also going to need a pencil. And so I'm going to go over what is going to happen really quick. So first you have your outer plates all cut out, and of course that's going to lay right on top of the plate like so. And that's going to give it the nice detail. But you're also, what we're also going to do is since this, these parts are out of pieces, we're going to cut the tail off. You're just going to cut that right off because we're going to cut out each individual one of these and then reattach every. So you're going to cut out all of these. It was out of camera, so that's why I got it back in focus. So you're going to cut each of these out separately. Then you're going to reattach those onto the other one. And then that'll be the tail. All right, so what? The reason why I haven't cut these all is because they're just going to cut. Right along the edge, just cut those all the way out. With the tail, you can cut them out individually as you cut them. Um, but the main reason why is because we want these bumps right here down the center line. So having them here isn't that great. And when attaching them to the body, you're going to want a nice smooth attachment. And then we're going to go through with our regular cardboard pieces here, draw out little bumps like on the back of the queen, and then, re then attach those to the queen's back. All right, and then we're gonna. Then you also what what you want to take is the head of the queen, and we've got the little um, extra pieces here, and we're gonna. So you're gonna cut out a section and then reattach it to the head. You just have to figure out exactly where that is. Trace it out. We'll get that those attached as well. But of course, you'll see how that all happens with this. And this is pretty simple right here. You're just gonna glue it on. And all right. So that's enough kind of um, talking about whatever is going on here. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to actually do this, but that's the best thing about the this, is kind of figure out as you go along. So, without further ado, and without more stalling, we're going to get right into it. And one more thing before I start, these holes right here were made with just the exacto blade I just poked holes in, which you want to do. Now then, let's get down to it and waste no more time with me blabbering and get down to the build. So, let's begin!
one quick thing I want to point out when you're doing this. First, you want to make sure there's a little bit of a gap between them, so you don't want them super tight. And also, um, as you go along, you're going to see they can get a little farther and farther apart and not as even. That's perfectly okay. You're just lining one up at, after the other. If, if you still have leftovers at the end, it's perfectly fine. You're just trying to layer them. So that's just just let you know. Just giving you a heads up in case they kind of get wonky like you kind of see what's happening here already. You can kind of see the little off. And that's perfectly okay. That's going to happen because, again, you're doing spaces, which is important because that's going to give us that little bit of detail. And I also cut off the edges of these because those, again, we're going to use paper to fill, um, extra little spikes to fill in because those, you know, they go down the middle. So, all right. So let's continue going in the tail. I also want to apologize for not showing the beginning of it just because uh, apparently it wasn't recording. But, um, so, but you're getting the idea, so let's continue. So after we've got the tail done on this side, um, you're going to want to get this all set up. And we're going to do that, of course, but I'm just going to show you what we've got here. Got the top piece here, we've got a gum piece here, which is this jaw here, but I redrew this piece a little bit thicker than this, and that's what's right here. And that's to um, attach to the inner side of the jaw, which is right here. The teeth are also been cut away because we've got brand new teeth. You're also going to need two of these little pins right here. For both sides so you can get the jaw articulation in so the arms and jaw will have a bit of articulation you're also just going to want to cut these right off all right um because we've got these right here the replacements and those are going to fit onto the back um, once we get the body assembled all right so that's that so let's continue
All right, so I started this part two at three o'clock. It is now almost nine o'clock, and um, I'm going to call this good for part two. Um, I wish I was able to get her completely finished for part two, but she just has a lot of stuff to do, and I think I spent enough time on her for today. <laughs> so in part three, we'll finish up giving her her spikes on a tail, um, work on this head because I'm not happy with how this head is right now, so I'll probably do a more work on that and try to do some thought process on what I feel like doing with up there. But besides the head that needs a little more work, the body looks all good and I think everything looks pretty sweet. The arms down here are, where <laughs> I attach those pretty cleverly, so pretty impressive I think for what I've got done in here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this part and I'll catch you on part three. Until then, have a great day and bye everybody.